and today in episode 1 we will measure distance by thumb rule. By the name we can easily understand that this is doing something with thumb. Yes, here we will use the thumb as a scope. First, we need to know one thing. We should be able to guess distance in meters for this method. Because here the unit will be at meter. So let's get going. Now to start, choose the object you are going to measure the distance of. In our case, it's the tree. First, put your thumb just on the tree. Now this is impossible with two eyes open because you cannot really focus correctly by two eyes. So we need one eye. So we will close one eye which is in our case right eye. Now put your thumb in such a way that it's just on the object. Now don't you dare to move your thumb. Without moving, close left eye and open right eye. What can you see? You can see that your left eye was a lie. Your thumb is just almost a mile away from the tree. But that's the trick. Measure the distance between your thumb and the tree in meters. Now you can find it out easily by the conversion 100 cm is equal to 1 meter. And at last, multiply that by 9. You will get your answer. That's all. Try it at home. And in the second episode, we will estimate height by T method. But first, for this method, we need some requirements, which are two bamboos or sticks. We need to align the sticks like a T, then tie them up at the middle. Remember, the second stick has to divide the first into half. So let's get into the scenario. We're going to measure the height of the tree. At first, hold the second bamboo at your nose. Then try to get the top and the bottom of the tree to coincide at the top and bottom of the first bamboo by moving away or in. Now if we see that in front view, it will look like this. First the lines didn't coincide, so we move away and stop when we cover up the whole tree. And then measure the distance from the tree to view. That's equal to the height of the tree. Season 1 episode 3 and we will measure distance by using German method. This method was used by German army for which the name is German method. Here we will measure the probable distance from us to another person by only observation. Firstly, if we can see the person's face and eyes clearly then he or she is at most 50 gosh away. If the eyes look like points then he or she is 100 gosh away. That person will be 200 gosh away if we can see specific things like belt or button of shirt. His or her face will be blurry if he or she is 300 gosh away. We will be able to understand movement if he or she is 400 gosh away. And at last, if we can understand the color of his or her uniform, then he or she is 500 gosh away from us. That's all. It's the most simplest estimation as per us. Red Indian method is going to be enlightened in the episode 4 of season 1 where we will estimate the height. Again as always we will estimate the height of the tree. So let's get going. First we need to look at the tree from between our legs. If we cannot see the whole tree, then we need to move away from the tree until we see the hole. Then we need to measure the distance from the tree to our current position. That distance is the height of the tree. Frankly speaking, that's it. This was used by the Red Indians. Today at episode 5.1 of season 1, we will estimate distance or length of a river via geometric method. Now 5.1 is just one process of following this method and as a result 5.1 and 5.2 are not solely related. 5.2 is just more complex. So let's dive into it. First we have to find a static object at the opposite side of the river if you are trying to measure the width of the river. Mostly that static object is a tree. So suppose the tree is A and U or B. You have to move left or right 
in our case left at C. Now BC is just a random distance. At C, we have to put a stick or bamboo to identify that place. Then we have to move again to the left by the same distance which will be equal to BC. So our current position is at D, whereas BC is equal to CD. After that, we have to move towards E. We will stop when the stick or bamboo coincides with the tree of opposite river. Or more easily, if we see that from our frontal view, it looks something like this. That distance of DE is equal to the width of the river. Today in episode 6, we are going to estimate height by shade method. Now from the name, you can understand that we need shade for this method, which means this method is only applicable in morning. And yeah, we also need a bamboo. So what are we going to do is compare bamboo's length and shadow and tree's shadow to find out the tree's length. First, put your bamboo in such a way that the shadow of tree and bamboo lies in the same line. Know that we have to know the bamboo's length and that's what an ideal scout always should know. We are considering that as 90 cm. Then measure the length of the shadow of the bamboo which is in our case 30 cm. Thirdly, measure the shadow of the tree. Now we can do that by using the bamboo. The shade of the tree is one and a half of the bamboo which is 135 cm. At last we are going to use this tree information to find out tree's height. From the bamboo calculation we know that for shadow 30 cm in that scenario our height is 90 cm. So what will be the height if the shadow is 135 cm? It's just grade 6 math which is 145 cm. Let's recap again in an advanced way. Let us consider bamboo's height as x, shadow as y, and tree's shadow as z. Then in one line, the tree's height will be this. In one line or in one formula. A little tips. Ooh, no, not money. You can actually use yourself in replacement with the bamboo. It will be much more complex, but something is better than nothing. And today, in episode 6 of season 1, we are going to measure height via inch to foot method. For this method, we just need a ruler or scale with inch measurement. First of all, we need to choose the object whose distance needs to be measured. In here, which is the tree. Secondly, we have to take 11 steps away from the tree. Then put a scale at that place. After that, Take another step away. Now you have to lie down and close one eye. Then you have to see the top of the tree. Mark the place where the top of the tree and the scale coincides. Let the value of the scale where it coincides with the tree be x. Now convert x inch to feet. That feet is the height of the tree.